Alright guys, welcome to a look at Pro Evolution Soccer 2008. This is the PS2 version guys. So today, let's get straight into it because this game is, well, it's kind of like PS6 really. They didn't change a whole lot to be honest. It's, um, I mean obviously as you can see here the, uh, the main menu is a little bit different which I kind of preferred it when you could see all the selections you have to like scroll through them to see them this time so yeah kind of glad that they sort of maybe change that a bit later on but yeah to start us off in this one then i guess we'll take a look at uh system settings because in this game if you remember last time when i had a look at pez 6 you could do the data link thing i think you could do it in pez 5 as well if i remember correctly if you've got the psp version of the game you can send it back and forth and you know it just basically transfers stuff so that's pretty much that uh we've got the gallery here there's quite a few things to go through in the gallery we've got our playlist editor and as you can see number of tracks 59 so yes this is um the tracks in the game guys so yeah we've got a bit of bongo wango here you know what i'm saying guys you gotta love that one so uh, yeah this is kind of when they started to add more, um, uh, what you call it, into it, um, more tracks into the game, you know, it's like FIFA always had it, so it's like, oh, we're going to do it as well kind of thing, I guess, you know, <laughs> probably, <laughs> but, uh, you know, th there's some really good tracks. I think my, my favorite um, soundtrack is probably from Pez uh, 2010, probably. So yeah, Spiral 2005 though, PES 5, so that's cool. Now in here, you've got your track record as well. So yeah, basically it tells you the amount of games you've won, lost, drawn, goal scored, conceded, total shots on goal, total shots faced, uh, penalties, free kicks, corners, fouls, number of fouls received, yellow cards, red cards, injuries, etc, etc guys. So that's something as well. And then uh, total matches, val valid matches invalid matches yeah own goals uh, most scored in a match most conceded in a match constructive no it's con consecutive wow got that wrong didn't i crap but um yeah hat tricks long distance scored percentages blah 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 a averages you know it goes on forever so it's kind of a cool thing to be honest and um oh i've been playing for six minutes have i <laughs> i've been sat here for six minutes apparently because i've only i don't actually have any data on this so yeah we're 50 wins achieve 100 wins blah 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 there's quite a lot of stuff in this to uh, achieve and it hats off to anybody who ever achieved them all but uh, yeah you've got all this in here as well you've got like little achievements that you can get as well guys so um for example first glory awarded for your first win winning streak awarded for winning 10 consecutive matches gentlemen awarded for an average foul rate of less than one per match in your 10 recent matches hat trick on award for scoring five hat tricks um owner awarded for achieving a possession rate of 60 percent or higher in 10 most recent matches long ranger awarded for scoring from 35 m out is that meters i think me meters is it me yeah should be meters i think um yeah a world traveler uh, awarded for playing at all stadiums that's a pretty easy one to get i guess uh penalty kit mass are winning uh 10 penalty shootouts we've got goal getter awarded for scoring 100 goals silver service awarded for making 100 assists uh, 100 wins um awarded for playing 100 matches air striker awarded for playing over 20 matches scoring in the five most recent ones while averaging at least two goals per match in the five most recent yeah uh awarded for playing over 100 matches scoring in the 10 most recent ones and averaging at least 2.5 goals per match in the 10 most recent uh, we've got sniper awarded for playing over 100 matches and achieving an average strike rate of 70 percent or higher in the 10 most recent uh, attacking midfielder awarded for playing 100 matches so it's basically all just the same thing here an average pass uh, success rate of eight 85% in the 10 most recent. Brick wall, awarded for keeping 100 clean sheets. England League dominated, beating all uh, England League teams. Oh, so basically you need to beat every team in the English League. Um, Serie A, 
League One, so basically French, uh, you've got Spanish here, Tally, and Eredivisie Dutch. Uh, national teams awarded for beating all national teams, and then Ultimate Player awarded for playing over 500 matches, scoring 1,000 goals, winning all the leagues and cups, and purchasing all the goods from the Pez shop. So we'll tell you about the Pez shop in a moment. So you've got your cup gallery as well. So if you win any cups, they all go here. So yeah, that's that. Try and win them all, guys. We're hey. Uh, replay playback. So if you've scored a goal and you saved it, you can look at it back. And then we got the Pez shop. So this one's kind of interesting. It's pretty much just the same as Pez six, really, with maybe a few minor differences. Um, so yeah, if you want to look at any of these players, go ahead and pause the video. I'm not going to go through them all because it will just take forever. What is that? Law Kit. His name is Law Kit. That is. We got Footy Footyun. Dahu, <laughs> some some legendary names in here. We got Roots as well. Um, you yeah, we got Root Beer and all sorts. We got Rock. We got the Rock. What a ledge. Um, anything else of note here, guys? Yeah, I got some legendary names in there, so that's cool. So you can add a player for 150 points. Uh, you know, you get your points for winning games and stuff, and winning cups, etc. Uh, team, so you can add a classic team. You got Brazil, Argentina, Netherlands, Italy, Germany, France, England. I believe all these were in PES 6 as well. Um, gameplay frame, so you can actually unlock um, you know different frames just for aesthetics purposes in the game. You know when you when it you know when it shows you like the scores and stuff like that in a match. Uh, costume got the good old ostrich the good old dinosaur and the good old penguin return guys so yeah it's good to see those guys back um edit uh player hairstyles so we got some extra hairstyles check it out we can play as some dogs if you ask me though they all look scary i mean that one looks like it wants to literally murder me so yeah that one looks like it's got mental problems that one looks like it's cute but may kill me that one just also is going to kill me. That one's just got a problem with everything. <laughs> that one's, again, going to kill me at some point. That one is terrifying if you see it in the middle of the night. That one is also terrifying. <laughs> that one just... You know, that that's the one that just doesn't give a shit. That's probably my favourite, but yeah. Uh, and then we got, like, this guy going on, so... He again looks like he may kill me, so that's pretty cool too. Uh, we got some goal celebrations here. To be honest, they're not really anything special apart from 76, as you'll see in a moment. So yeah, which is the uh, is the baby is like the baby one. I think is it meant to be like the you know the the thing guys the thing. Uh, we got some camera angles. We got a bird's eye view and a player uh, camera. If you want to unlock those ball effects, so basically, if you remember in PES six, you had like a like a ball effect, like a rainbowy sort of effect on like replays and stuff from the ball that kind of like follows it, sort of thing. Um, so you can get that. You got view stadium, so you can actually view all the stadiums in the game. Double match speed, which is kind of hilarious. We've got uh, ML league structure, so you can edit edit the structure of the master league we've got ml starting points so you can edit the amount of points you start on in the master league so that's the gallery so that's pretty much all the big stuff taken care of we've got edit so basically it's just again the same as pez 6 you can edit a player you can register a player you can edit a team you can edit the um logos and whatnot you can edit boots edit stadium name edit a league or cup name and that's pretty much it guys, I don't really need to show you any more of that. So you got training, you got your training mode, that makes a return. You got step-by-step -step training or free training. So training just teaches you kind of the basics of the game. And you get this like nice little um, like training sort of area here. You got like the, the hills or the mountains or whatever in the background. It looks kind of nice to be honest. So you can select your team and basically like shooting through here, you can practice chip so shots, long shots. Um, free kicks you know you can select like a difficulty on the free kick shot kind of thing here so yeah that is that a network so you could obviously play online at one time or another selection match uh, matches will be conducted with randomly selected players within specified criteria cup match well you can do a cup you can do a league um community but it's obviously for online stuff you've got world tour which is kind of an interesting one guys um you can receive psp data on this receive the modes data from the psp so yeah, i guess you can switch it back and forth kind of thing 
But on this, you basically pick a team, as you're about to see here. Your mission is to complete the various challenges against... Well, that really gave me enough time to read that, didn't it? But basically, yeah, I think it's just like national teams you're up against. But you could pick a team. So I could pick Liverpool, for example. And then basically we're going to start in Asia. And then, if it will load, win comfortably against Japan is our first mission. So, yeah. To complete the um, objectives, as you will see here. Um, yeah, so we need to win the game and we need to win by two goals or more, basically, to complete that. So, yeah, um, so you've got like your tour information here, which is win comfortably. So, it already tells you that, so we don't really need to go through that. But then we've got like uh, your formation, so you can edit all that. You've got your general settings as well but yeah that's something else that you can do if, if you've got a lot of time to kill i suppose guys but don't ask me to do that i don't think i want to do that to be honest i'll be there forever with it uh obviously good old master league and a match so let's do a match because that's what you're all waiting for but before we get into that we'll just have a run through some of the teams i suppose in the game um it's not too important uh, i mean like i say you've got your french league here um you got your English league with the updated team. So remember when Derby were in there and they had 11 points by the end of the season. Italian, Eredivisie, obviously your Spanish league. Um, you've got your other team. So you got uh, Bayern, Anderlecht. Um, is anybody new in here that I can think of? Whistler. I think there might be um, a new one. I think uh, we've got Celtic Rangers, uh, Red Star. Hamabi, we've got a bit of Hamabi, we've got a good old Pez United, and uh, we United guys, legends, absolutely legendary teams, and then this one where you can make your own stuff if you fancy, so yeah, that's pretty much that. Uh, you know what, I don't know what we're going to do in this one, um, you know what, maybe we'll do a French, shall we do a French guys? Ooh, go on then, we'll do a French, we'll do... PSG and Marseille. No, wait, no, not them. Where are they? Marseille. We'll do that one. That'll be a pretty good one to do, I suppose, guys. So we've got our general settings here. So I we'll guess we'll go for a regular... Uh, I guess we'll do a five-minute game because I don't want it to drag on too long, this. And and whatnot. Um, auto lineup select, so we'll go for that. So basically it changes what the computer feels best for different positions. You've got the ball type, so you've got your new... Pez 2000. They always bring out like a new ball with the games every every year now. So there's the 2008. You've got the 2007 one there. 2003, 2002. You've got a plain ball. Uh, we've got the Team Geist or Team Jest as I used to call it or <laughs> whatever. we got an orange ball. Um, it's basically just like the World Cup balls. I guess we'll go with the 2008 one. Um, time. We'll have day. Season can be summer. We've got weather. Stadium, oh, the stadium's Red Cauldron Magpie Park, Magpie Pie, I was about to say there, Magpie Park. You know, I'm just going to run through it again, because, you know, I don't like to ramble too much, guys, you know, it, it's like, you just want to see a match, and, and and see what I think of the matches in this game. I guess we'll go for Anfield then, I suppose. And here is your, uh, your your setup, basically. It just looks like PES 6, doesn't it, guys? So let's go for it. Let's just go ahead. Wow, they got Nasri in there, man. And CC at front. Wow. Takes you back. Takes you back. Here we go, then. This is uh, a match. That is a match in PES 2008, guys. So, yeah. I think the first thing I have to say is that the gameplay is pretty much like PES 6. Obviously, there's a little few differences in there. You can tell sort of the difference between PES 6 gameplay and PES 2008 gameplay. But, um, yeah, it's... Uh, to be honest, and this is this is the thing, guys, all right? Ten years ago, when this came out, I got the 360 version because I was sort of moving on to, like, the next-gen consoles at the time. And, um, yeah, it... it I, I just did, I couldn't get used to it. I just couldn't. I just did not like the gameplay of it. Really, I preferred PES six. So I put the game down and I went back to PES six. Eventually, I did pick up PES two thousand eight again and went back to it and I got a little better at it. Um, 
but I don't know, there was just something about it, it's just like, come on, this, this is just not the same, I had so much fun on PES 6 the year before, I just wanted to keep playing that, so I just kept playing PES uh, 6 um, for, a, for a time. But eventually got used to it, and obviously, like, uh, yeah, FIFA 08 was out at the time as well, so it was all about trying to move on for me because the gameplay of PES 6 on the PS2, and I had um, FIFA 07 on the original Xbox, so it was trying to move on to the next new thing for me around that time, and um, it was a little bit difficult. But I got used to it in the end. The first thing I'm going to do is change the camera to wide because that's what... Uh, excuse me. There we go. That's what we like to do. And we're off, guys. And this is PES 2008. So, yeah, you're sprinting. It just feels the same. There's nothing else to it, really. It just feels pretty much the same. Like, the, the passing feels a little bit different. And when you're running with the ball, it's a little bit different. But other than that... It's just more of the same stuff, really, and you can't complain about it. It's it it just it feels great. <laughs> I think I'd rather play maybe this version of the game um, than the 360 version, but yeah, that's just me. And I'm gonna go for a shot. Why did I shoot there? I don't know. But this is just to show you guys the game. I never, like I said, I never. When we do these look at videos, I never win. So don't expect me to win because I probably won't and I really need to get a shot in there, and I didn't, so yeah. I can't really uh, explain it too much. Um, maybe it feels like the gameplay is slightly slower in a way, maybe? Is that just me, or what? But, um, yeah. Whipped into the bot. Oh, that was nowhere near where I wanted it. <laughs> I think that's just what I couldn't get used to at the time. It just, it, like, the gameplay just felt so much different I don't know it's, it's hard to explain this one um, yeah it's never gonna be the same as PES 6 obviously but it just it just feels like a little bit slower in a way I don't know like the movement of the players feels slight diff slightly different and, uh, and whatnot another thing about this game is you might have noticed in the background there they've got like advertisements and all sorts of stuff oh my god oh my god come on why do I always lose like the advertisements, so there was like so many, they're just like plastic. You could see like a friggin' MySpace in the background there. Like around this time, to be fair, MySpace was kind of a pop, it was kind of popular back then. Not so much anymore, if you ask me. But um, yeah, that, that, that was a thing, that was a thing, guys. And uh, that's a goal. Oh my god, look how close it was to him. Seriously, you did not save that at all. Um, so yeah, there's like MySpace and I think there's Zoo in the background there and just all sorts of weird stuff. IGN, <laughs> you know, there's just all sorts of stuff uh, back then, guys. What a season. I, I, One of my sort of favourite sort of seasons, I guess, in football history, 07, 08, 06, 07. You know, the old ones are the best guys, you know, 05, 06, 04, 05, all them. <laughs> you know, I miss them. I miss them so much. But, um, yeah, um, so yeah, I'm playing on the regular difficulty here, so yeah, th again, that's another thing I want to bring up, like PES 6 on the on the PS2, this again feels hard, I'm only playing on the regular difficulty and I'm like getting my ass kicked here, you know, after all the experience I've, I've got with PES 6, you'd think I'd be maybe somewhat decent at this, I mean, to be fair, I've not played this game in coming up to 10 years because, you know, why would you play an old... That's kind of contradicting, isn't it? <laughs> you know, why? I was about to say, why would you play an old game? <laughs> an old game when the newer version is out and here's me who plays PES 5 and 6 and all sorts of stuff uh, on the channel. But, uh, yeah, you know, it, 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 it it's a thing, guys. It's a thing. Anyway, I've gone with a flat 4-3-3. Three, three. I don't know if, if players are playing out of position, more than likely, but I'm just going to go with it anyway. Um, but yeah, like the get, like the, the difficulty, man. Like If we had this sort of difficulty on like the PC versions of the game and whatnot, it would have been just so good. Like, just really good. Like, I, I, I crave a harder difficulty on PES 6, because sometimes it's just, like, too easy. But, like, you know, these these versions on the PS2 and even like the PSP and that you know like I don't know what it is I don't know why they they are harder 
I, I actually don't know, to be honest. I don't know why. Uh, but it's not just me who says that. It's, it's all you guys as well who have told me. And it's just like, I don't, I don't understand why it is like that. But, uh, yeah, um, it just would have been good if they kept it sort of the same. I mean, I always used to play it on regular difficulty, and even to this day, if I ever do pick up, like, PS6 or whatever on the PS2, I still go back to um, playing, you know, on the regular difficulty, just because it just feels hard enough on that, really, you know what I mean? I could probably maybe... I mean, I have played it on the harder difficulties, don't get me wrong, but it's like, I'm, I, I'll, I might... I can score goals... But then I'll just end up getting my ass kicked after a while, so it's just like, you know... <laughs> I think I was like 3-0 up once, and then I went on to lose like 7-3 or something crazy in the end. Uh, when I when I played on like the top difficulty on the PS2 version of PS6, so... Yeah. But uh, yeah, the cover stars for this game were sort of like Ronaldo and uh, Owen. There was probably, I think, one or two more, maybe in different regions, but uh, over here for us it was all about um Ronaldo and um Owen at the time looks like Newcastle had um their official kit in the game and I think Spurs as well if I'm not mistaken so yeah like the year before I think it was Arsenal and United um but they're only allowed like two at a time or something crazy so Obviously, because they uh, don't have the uh, license for the Premier League, which sucks. Every year, you, I always used to be hopeful that they'd get the license for the Premier League and it would have like the full official kits and everything. But nope, you had to go in, you had to rename stuff. But that's one of the, that's like one of the the favorite things like we all have about these games. Like you know, our favorite pastimes of of old PES games is actually going and listening to the music and editing. Um, you know, the team names and the kits and everything to try and get them to look as close as possible to the real kits and uh, that's something I always remember but anyway that is PES 2008 guys not too much to say about it other than it um, like it's just it, it, it's PES 6 just about but just feels a bit slower in a way so yeah and uh, obviously the passing and the movement of the players feels a little bit different the AI maybe even feels a little bit smarter, which you'd probably come to expect as well, but um, yeah. And then you've got all these advertisements all over it, so it's not a bad addition to the PES um, lineup. Um, not my favourite PES game of all time, but um, it's still it's not too bad, guys. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little video today, guys, uh, looking at PES 2008, and uh, I'll see you next time. So please do comment, subscribe, and share as always. Tell me what you think of this game and uh, I'll see you next time. Take care.